My name is Agata rostek robak and I'm the Manager of Conservation at the Australian National Maritime Museum. When the Australian National Maritime Museum was established with the Museum Act in 1991, one of the functions stated for the museum in the Act is to develop, maintain and preserve the National Maritime Collection and that is where conservation comes in. Currently the collection has 146,000 objects ranging in size and format. So there are things like coins and medals, ship models and lighthouses in the collection. Conservators look after objects by uh, understanding their material properties, the technology that was used to make those objects, aging properties of all the different materials and using sympathetic techniques and materials to restore them and conserve them. We have a small team of conservators with different specialties, conservators who specialise in object conservation, metals, wood, maritime archaeology, ethnographic conservation and we also have a paper conservator and the team is managed by myself. I'm also a conservator and I specialise in collection management and looking after the collection in the big picture. So this is one of the treasures in our collection. It's a 1602 Blau Celestial Globe, uh, which represents the skies and the star constellations. Made out of plaster with paper uh, surface painted and varnished. Also to show us detail of damage that might not be visible with the naked eye. We are hoping to get an x-ray of this soon so that we can see the condition and the structural integrity of the actual globe inside. This is another object um, from our collection. It's been selected to go on display in the Under the Southern Skies exhibition. It is a concretion removed from the Endeavour Cannon. So when the Endeavour Cannon was in the water, it underwent corrosion and that's what you can see on the surface here. Part of the process is to remove the chlorides and the length of time that that process takes depends on the size of the object, the material it's made of, how long it's been in the water, where it's been in the water, what the temperature has been, what the concentration of the salt in the water has been and it can take anywhere from a few months to a decade or longer. This is an example of uh, the objects in our collection. It's the builder's model of the Orontes. These models were built in order to sell the actual ships. The Orontes is quite significant because it was used to bring people to Australia, but it also carried troops during the war back to Australia. The object was acquired a couple of years ago by the museum and it requires quite a lot of conservation. So over the next couple of years, uh, we will be slowly um, restoring this model to its original condition. Um, there are many different materials on this and therefore it will actually require the skills of more than one conservator. There's paint, there's wood, there is silk, so all the different specialties will be involved in making sure that we conserve it appropriately. This object will be on display in an exhibition possibly in 2023, which is good because we need about two years to actually uh, complete the treatment. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about what we do behind the scenes in the Conservation Lab.